Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Tortuga Online and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own texture pack for Minecraft on iOS 14 in a few easy steps. First of all, make sure you have all the necessary resources to start. You need a graphics or photo editing app like Medibang Paint for iPad. You can also use Affinity Photo, that's what I'm going to do in this video. Then you'll want a text editor for JSON files. I'm using Coder Code Editor. You can also download my shortcut for converting zip files into MCPEG files. I'll explain later what to do with it. And most importantly, you need the free resources from Mojang.net. You need to download and unzip them. You'll find the download link in the description of this video. Once this is done, you can already start to work on your textures. Let's open the folder and see what's inside. There are lots of subfolders. The one that's of interest to us is the textures folder. Here you have the blocks folder with all the block textures and the items folder with all the item textures. Now let's go back to textures and blocks. Here you can choose a texture to modify, like Ancient Debris. Open it with your editor. Here you can edit the texture any way you want and save it again. I'm gonna accelerate the process so you don't have to wait until I'm done. Now you can delete the old file, like this, and go to the place where you saved the new one. From there, you just move this file to the original folder, which is Textures, Blocks. Please check if the file keeps its original name. If you modify the name or have a spelling mistake, the game won't recognize it and just apply the vanilla texture instead. You can repeat this step with all the block textures and item textures you want to change. When you're ready to try your texture pack, you need to edit the manifest.json document. In order to do this, you need two unique identifier numbers called UUID. Go to the website uuidgenerator.net, the link is also in the description of this video, and generate two version 1 UUIDs. Then open the manifest file with the coder app. Replace the two existing UIIDs with the ones you just created. You can just copy and paste them, like this. These numbers are very important for the game, so please do not skip this step. If you don't change these numbers, the game might not be able to import your texture pack. After this, you can give your texture pack a fancy name and add a description to it, like this. Please also check these version numbers. If you update your texture pack later on, you want to change the version number. Now don't give up just yet, because we're almost done. Go to the resources folder and select all the files. Now zip them. The zip function is built in into iOS 14. This process might take a while though. Alternatively, before you zip it, 
you can delete all the unnecessary files or all the files you have modified, except the textures folder and of course the manifests document. You could also add your own pack icon. Now go to the shortcuts app and use my MC pack shortcut on the zip file you just created. This changes the file extension from .zip to .mcpack. Something that's very easy to do on a traditional computer, but not so much on the iPad. This is why I created this shortcut. Finally, you can copy your mcpack and paste it into the Minecraft folder on your iPad. So go to Minecraft, Games, com.mojang and the folder resource packs. Paste it here. Simply tap on the file which prompts the game to import the texture pack. In order to test your pack, you can create a new world. Set the game mode to creative so you have access to all the blocks. Before you click on create, make sure you apply your texture pack. As you will see, it has the name and description you entered in the manifest document. You open the world and you can open the menu too, so you can search for the blocks you have edited. As you can see, the texture previously created is now in the game. Great! But sometimes textures may look different from what you expected. In this case, you can edit them again by following all the steps in this video. Remember that you need to change the version number of your texture pack in the JSON file. Otherwise, the game will get confused and not import your new version properly. I hope this video was helpful to you and you are now ready to create your own texture pack. If that's the case, give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you like. And if you have questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching, have a nice day!